Welcome to this toolbox talk on electrical hazards. Electrical hazards are doubly hazardous in that there is not only the chance of electrocution, but also there is the probability that any electric shock will cause a loss of consciousness that may result in a fall of some sort. In this toolbox talk, we will discuss about the hazards, the causes of electrical hazards, awareness from overhead power lines and underground cables, some important preventive measures and warning signs that should be placed near an electrical work area. Let's begin our discussion by looking at the hazards that can occur while working with an electrical equipment. Electric shock and burns from contact with live parts. Injury from exposure to arcing, fire from faulty electrical equipment or installations. Electric shocks can also lead to other types of injury, for example, by causing a fall from ladders or scaffolds. Now, let's proceed further by discussing about the causes of these hazards. Over voltages from lightning strikes electrical equipment. Voltage surges due to switching operations. Human error, example, not realizing power is on. Improper working procedures, such as not locking out power prior to work. Insufficient training, poor communication such as not using a tag during lockout process. Damaged or broken equipment. We will discuss about the awareness related to overhead power lines. Be aware of the dangers of working near or underneath overhead power lines. Electricity can flash over from them, even though machinery or equipment may not touch them. Don't work under them when equipment, example ladders, a crane jib, a tip a lorry body, or a scaffold pole, could come within a minimum of 6 meters of a power line without getting advice. Let's proceed further with the discussion by looking at underground cables. Always assume cables will be present when digging in the street, pavement, or near buildings. Consult local electricity companies and service plans to identify where cables are located. Now let's discuss about the preventive measures that should be considered while using an electrical equipment. Check any extension cords to ensure that they are not damaged, frayed, or cracked. If you see an extension cord that is damaged, unplug it and follow your company hazard reporting procedure. If any appliance or other electrical equipment gives you a shock, do not use it. Unplug the equipment and place a tag on the cord or plug, indicating that it should not be used and follow your company hazard reporting procedure. If you are using an extension cord during a meeting, make sure that you secure the cord to the floor with tape so that it will not be a trip hazard. Keep all electric tools or appliances away from water. Never store flammable or combustible materials near an electrical panel. Switch tools or appliances off before plugging them into or removing them from a power supply. Do not plug several cords into one outlet or through an octopus connection. Let's end our discussion by considering some important warning signs that should be kept in mind while working with or near an electrical equipment. Dim lights. Flickering lights. Buzzing sounds. Smell of burning plastic. Frequent blowing of fuses. Frequent tripping of circuit breakers. Arcs, sparks, 
and sizzling sounds. Switch your receptacle plates that are warm to the touch. Cracked or loose plugs. Damaged insulation. With this, we end this toolbox talk on electrical hazards. Thanks for your valuable time. Have a safe day.